Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Let us take one more example. Here we want to find the length of the asteroid. So, its name is asteroid which is given in parametric form x equal to cosine cubed t y equal to sine cubed t where t varies from 0 to 2 pi. So, if you plot it, it looks something like this. It has now 4 petals, one in each uh, quadrant. So, its length first of all it says since it is symmetric. So, we can say it is 4 times any one of the length of the petals one length it is enough to take. But in that case 0 it is t is really the angle 0 to 2 pi. So, t will vary from 0 to pi by 2. So, that is the first thing we can see that the length is 4 times the portion of the curve traced for 0 to pi by 2 that is this portion 0 to pi by 2. Okay. So, now let us go to computing the length this length we will compute and multiply it by 4. So, here x prime t is cosine cube t derivative with respect to t. So, that gives 3 cosine square t into cosine t differentiation with respect to that is minus sin t. So, it is minus 3 cos square t sin t. Similarly, y prime t is 3 sin square t cos t because derivative of sin t is cos t there is no minus fine. So, now you plug in the formula the length of the asteroid is 4 times integral 0 to pi by 2 square root of x prime t square plus y prime t square dt. So, that gives 4 times 0 to pi by 2 minus 3 cos square t sin t square 3 sin square t cos t square dt. So, now if you simplify this that turns out to be 3 cos t sin t using of course, the formula cos square t plus sin square t equal to 1. So, that gives rise to 3 cosine t sin t. Then we take its integral. So, now to take the integral let us say that sin t is u. So, that if u is sin t this is u and cos t dt becomes du. That is why we wrote 3 sin t d of sin t directly we can write instead of going for this substitution. So, it is sin t integral that is x or u integral of 3 u right. So, 3 remains and then u becomes u square by 2. So, sin square by 2 and we have a 4 here and that is to be evaluated at 0 and pi by 2 and subtracted out. So, verify that it simplifies to this answer 6. Of course, you could have done directly instead of multiplying 4, but this becomes easier once you know the shape of the curve where the curve is exactly lying. Okay. So, let us take one more example to fix the idea here what is given is uh, suppose the as we are specifying earlier or talking about this earlier that instead of y is a function of x, it is written x as a function of y. Right? So, that means we can think of y as the parameter t. So, our t is equal to y. So, in that case your square root of x prime square prime is with respect to t plus y prime uh, square. So, now y is t itself. So, this becomes 1 and x is a function of t which is y. So, this will be d x by d y square. So, that is how the formula will be integral limit of y which is set c to d and square root of 1 plus g prime y square d y that will be the length of the curve. So, let us use that in solving this problem. Here we are asked to find 
the length of the arc of the curve y equal to x by 2 to the power 2 by 3. So, the arc is defined when x varies from 0 to 2 that is how it is given. Okay. So, now we look at it as a function of you can do of course, directly, but let us see through y that will be a, a bit easier. So, what do we do? We think of um, x as a function of y right? and there is an advantage here because at x equal to 0 this function will not be differentiable, we want it to be differentiable. But of course, we can omit that one point because it is at the end point, so it does not matter for the integral. However, let us see put it in a proper way. If you look at it x as a function of y, then that will be differentiable. So, here x is a function of y, once you express this, it becomes y to the power 3 equal to x square by 4 or x squared equal to y cubed by 4 or x will be equal to 2 times uh, y to the power 3 by 2, y to the power 3 by 2, right. So, is 4, uh, 4 is multiplied not divided 4 times y to the power 3 by 2. So, x will be equal to square root of that we take 2 y to the power 3 by 2. Okay. So, that is what we write x equal to g of y equal to 2 y to the power 3 by 2 and when x varies from 0 to 2 you see x equal to 0. So, y equal to 0 and when x equal to 2 this is 2 by 2 which is 1. So, y must be 1. So, the same curve we express as x as a function of y for y belonging to in the interval 0 to 1. Fine. Of course, you could have done earlier way, but let us see how this variation looks like. So, in this case our length of the curve will be computed where you will be getting c to d which will be 0 to 1, 1 plus g prime y square. So, we need to compute g prime y and that is easy here the g of y is 2 into y to the power 3 by 2. So, g prime y is 3 square root of y and this is also continuous on the closed interval 0 1 that is required for getting our formula right that sum Riemann sum should give us the integral. So, we need continuity. So, now we take the length of the arc which is equal to integral 0 to 1 y varies from 0 to 1 square root of 1 plus g prime y square dy and g prime y is 3 root y. So, its square is 9 y it is square root of 1 plus 9 y. So, again you substitute 1 plus 9 y equal to u. So, you get u to the power 3 by 2 right divided by 3 by 2 and then integral uh, then this u which is d u equal to 9 times d y. So, divided by 9 in terms of u. So, this 2 by 27 1 plus 9 y to the power 3 by 2 evaluated at 0 and 1 and subtracted. So, that simplifies to this number 2 into 10 that is 20 by 27 it is not 20 it is minus 1 is there. So, 2 times 10 into root 10 minus 1 divided by 27. Okay. So, let us take on some more problems. So, find the length of the curve x equal to cos t y equal to t plus sin t where t varies from 0 to pi. So, this is the portion of that curve we have 0 t varying from 0 to pi, it is given in parametric form already and the limits for t also given. Just we have to plug in the formula, find out derivatives of x and y with respect to t and then compute the length. So, x prime equal to minus sin t and y prime equal to t gives 1, sin t gives cos t, so 1 plus cos t. Therefore, x prime square plus y prime square equal to sin square t plus 1 plus cos t square. So, sin square t plus cos square t gives 1 and 1 is there. So, it is 2 plus 2 cosine t. So, that we can express now in terms of uh, because we want to integrate it. So, it is 4 cosine square t by 2. Now, the length of the curve is integral 0 to pi because t varies from 0 to pi of x prime square y prime square square root dt. So, that gives 0 to pi to its square root. So, that gives 2 cosine t by 2 dt. So, now this can be integrated easily. So, it is 4 sin t by 2 0 to pi. So, that simplifies to 4. 
So, as you see it is uh, quite straightforward to compute the uh, lengths of the curves. Let us take another problem. Find the length of the curve x equal to y cubed by 3 plus 1 by 4 y for 1 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 3. So, here x is given as a function of y then we can continue the same way instead of rewriting it and we have a formula that way also x when x is a function of y and limits of y is given. So, we should find out derivative of x with respect to y. So, we go for that. Now, derivative of x with respect to y this is y cubed by 3 that gives directly y square and this is 1 by 4 times y to the power minus 1. So, it is minus 1 by 4 y to the power minus 2 that is y square minus 1 by 4 y square. So, 1 plus x prime square equal to 1 plus this square. So, that is in the expanded form looks like this 1 plus y fourth plus 1 by 16 y fourth minus 2 y square into 1 divided by 4 y square. Okay. So, then um, it is just a simplification. So, we can write that because we want to take the square root of that. So, it is better to see whether it can be written without the square root. We see that this expression simplifies to y square plus 1 by 4 y square whole square. Then the length of the curve will be integral limit of y is 1 to 3 square root of 1 prime 1 plus x prime square dy. So, that is y square plus 1 by 4 y square it is integral we have to take. So, that is y cubed by 3 and 1 by 4 y square gives minus 1 by 4 y that is to be evaluated at 1 and 3 and subtracted. So, verify that it simplifies to 53 divided by 6. So, now you see whether x is a function of y or f is y is a function of x whichever form is given uh, we can really compute the length we have one corresponding formula fine. So, let us take another example here uh, we want to find the length of the curve uh, there was yeah length of the curve x equal to again it is x is given as a function of y integral 0 to y square root of second sec fourth t minus 1 dt where y varies from minus pi by 4 to pi by 4. So, you may be thinking that it is given in the integral do we need to compute this integral, but you do not know how to compute this integral the sec fourth t minus 1 to tan square t that will be a bit complicated. So, anyway we need uh, x is a function of y. So, we need derivative of x with respect to y. Now, you can use fundamental theorem of calculus to get the derivative of this integral right. So, it is integral 0 to y. So, this derivative is quite straightforward. We get its derivative as the integrand which is second fourth y minus 1 instead of t we have y right and that is what we needed x prime y not exactly what x is. Then we go for the length. So, length will be minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 that is the limit for y and the integrand is 1 plus x prime y square and square root. So, now we know x prime y which is square root of second fourth y minus 1, but it is squared. So, it will give second fourth y minus 1 and 1 is there. So, they cancel we get square root of second fourth y which is second square y right. So, that makes it simpler for us it is second square y dy we know it is integral is tan y. So, you have to evaluate tan y at minus pi by 4 and pi by 4 and subtract tan right. So, tan pi by 4 is 1. So, 1 minus minus 1 which gives 2 ok. So, that is why we can that is how we can use some of the earlier results instead of directly computing the integral here. Let us go to next problem it is a different kind of problem. It is asking whether there exists a smooth curve y equal to f of x whose length from 0 to a for any a is root to a. So, we are giving the length of the curve and we want to find out what the curve is. 
and the curve is of course asked in the form y as a function of x fine and this is true for any a greater than 0 so that means we can treat a as a variable right ok so what the length is now the length of this y equal to f of x is square root of 1 plus f prime x square dx and from 0 to a it is equal to root 2 a so this is the fact that is given to us we want to find what this f of x is ok again we may have to use fundamental theorem because it is not known what this integrand is we cannot integrate as such so we can really but differentiate differentiate with respect to a because it is true for any a so we can treat a as a variable right so treating a as a variable and differentiating it what we get is on the right side it is root 2 a that gives root 2 and on the left side we use fundamental theorem differentiate with respect to a so that means this one the integrand is evaluated at a that is the answer so root 2 must be square root of 1 plus a prime a square from this we get f prime a and then go back to f that is what we uh, our plan so this gives f prime a equal to plus or minus 1 is that correct it is root 2 so 1 plus f prime a square is 2 a prime a square is 1 so f prime a must be equal to plus or minus 1 then f of a must be equal to if you integrate f prime a that gives f of a it is indefinite integral so that gives plus or minus a plus c and that is for any a of course a is a variable so if you want to write in terms of x you can write y equal to f of x that will be plus or minus x plus c that is the curve so it is simple it is a straight line of course not one infinitely many straight lines for which length will be same equal to root 2 a is that right fine so let us take another problem here we want to find the length of one arch of the cyclad so the name of this curve is cyclad we want to find one arch there can be many arch in the cyclad we want one arch so that arch corresponds to the portion of the curve when theta varies from 0 to 2 pi and this curve the cyclad is given in terms of uh, the parameter theta so it is x equal to a times theta minus sin theta y equal to a times 1 minus cos theta so when you go to x prime theta we need the derivative with respect to theta to get the length of the uh, curve ok so x prime theta equal to a times 1 minus cos theta that is coming from this 1 minus cos theta and y prime theta equal to its 0 so minus cos theta gives sin theta y prime theta equal to a sin theta so you need x prime square plus y prime square so it is a into 1 minus cos theta square and a into sin theta square and they are added together so that gives a square into 1 minus cos theta square plus a square sin square theta so cos square theta plus sin square theta gives you 1 and there is already 1 so it is 2 and minus 2 cos theta so this times a square so it is 2 a square into 1 minus cos theta we need its square root so better we express in terms of uh, squares so that is 4 a square into sin square theta by 2 therefore the length will be equal to 0 to 2 pi square root of x prime theta square plus y prime theta square so which we already know we have computed 4 a square sin square theta by 2 so you plug in and its square root is 2 a 2 a sin theta by 2 d theta so here we take say multiply 2 so that becomes 4 a sin theta by 2 d theta by 2 right so its integral will be minus 4 a cos theta by 2 and theta varies from 0 to 2 pi ok so at 2 pi we have to substitute at 0 we have to substitute this minus sign goes at 2 pi it becomes 0 at 0 it is now 4 times a cos theta or 8 a 
So, that is how we will be computing the lengths of the curves. Let us stop here.